Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a group of polygon uh, for the same group or for the same class. As you know, when you are digitizing any kind of polygon or maps, uh, for example, here I digitized the, ge uh, the geologic map. I'm going to sh uh, show the attribute table. As you see here, uh, for example, for the same class, I get different kind of polygon because you know the the different formations will locate and or crop it out in different places and locations. So you can make sorting here by double click, uh, for example, ascending or descending. And um, I just want to show you by the name, maybe. Uh, much more clear here okay for example this one and located here and for the same formation or lithological unit is located here but as you see here with different kind of polygon so and in the attribute table I have a lot of polygon so if I want to make calculation or even geometry any kind of uh, calculation or addition so it will be a little bit uh, difficult so to make it easier directly you can select it the polygons after you make it sorting then start editing which layer that you want to make or start editing okay here okay I selected these uh, four units it is the same one so and then I will go here and merge so this is the name doesn't matter so I put it and the same code for all of them so as you see here now I when I selected this one a QI code with a local font sediment directly it became mm, same layer here and for the rest one I will show you some more example here and like this this is just I have one in it and this is two one more here and this is Like this, you see how it's work. And this is two. Here the shear information, like this. And the last one here the Angelo Akrabah formation. As you see here, so it is easier. And you have a group of the formations for the same layer for the same code and formations so now it is easier to make a kind of calculation and previously I mentioned in the previous videos that calculation for the area and percentage now you have to make it again because as a group of the layer it uh, will be changed like here square meter okay and for the percentage as I have shown we have to make to the area and make it copy go to field calculator here we need to put the area divided by the number and multiply by 100 As you see here, we have the percentage and we have the area in square meter. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching.